Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is Sister Lizzie coming to you in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus Christ. Calvary greetings. How are you? Well, the title of my message today is Kill the Spider. <laughs> ah, somebody's going to say, what the heck is she talking about? Kill the spider. Yes, that's the title of my message. Kill the spider. Why? For example... If you keep going into your closet or one of the rooms and you keep finding all these cobwebs all over the place, you, you take them off, dust them away, and the next day they surface again, you know, what do you do? In order to prevent the cobwebs, you got to kill the spider. That's why I said the topic of my message is kill the spider. Now, in that respect, let me take it to the biblical perspective. Psalm 11, verse 3, and I read, it says, If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? So it's important to make sure that your foundation is solid. Your foundation is solid. If your foundation is solid, then the structure will be fine. If you have a rambler or you plan to build a rambler, you, 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 you design the foundation based on the rambler. But if you decide to build a story or two-story building and use the foundation of a rambler, guess what? The structure will collapse, right? So you have to understand that it is important that you do the real, the real thing when it comes to foundation. The Bible says, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? You know, the Bible also tells us that train the child in the way that he should go, so that when he grows up, he will not depart from it. I'm paraphrasing. So it is important that you instill the, 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 the things of God, the truth in the word of God, righteous living in the life of your children so that when they grow up, even if they try to deviate, they will soon turn back and make a U-turn and come back to the word of God. The word of God remains infallible and inerrant. If God has said it, he will do it. He's a promise keeper. So, killing the spy that will stop the cobwebs, right? But you have to understand, according to the book of Proverbs, Proverbs 26, verse 2. Let me read that. Right. Proverbs 26, verse 2. And I read. It says, As a bird by wandering, as a swallow by flying, so the curse costless shall not come. Which means, before a curse takes root, there must be a reason for that to occur. So it's important to look at the foundation. Why is this happening in my life? Why is this happening in my life? The problem in your life could stem from the foundation. There are certain families where they say, you know, they have mental disorder or some family, they say the male die early or they die prematurely. And then they say some of the women, the women don't stay in marriages, pam, 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 or they have barrenness is an issue. The grandmother did not have children until the age of blah, blah, blah. One of the aunt never had, then the other, you know, the third generation are still confronting such problem. It's because there's a root. There's a foundation issue. When you deal with the foundation, then everything going to be all right. <laughs> so, I say again that kill the spider. If you do not take care of the problem, the root of the problem, it becomes a problem. A big time problem. For example, the Bible says, Every root, every plant that the Heavenly Father has not planted has no choice but to be uprooted, right? I remember a summer that I had bought the um, stem, <laughs> nursery, form of um, strawberry plants. And I had planted it in the yard. So I expected it to grow, you know, and then bear fruit. But it was just spreading the uh, 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 branches and I couldn't find any strawberry in it. So my husband said, 
what's going on? He's going to cut it off. I said, you know what? Just go ahead and cut it off. He did. But the following year, the branches started uh, springing out again. And I said, wow. But I thought we dealt with this. I thought we cut it off. Mm -mm -mm. The Lord said to me, no. It had to spring up again because you did not pull it from the roots. So the same thing is applicable to us. If a situation is not dealt from the roots, the problem might have a temporary solution and resurfaces itself again. So it's important that you deal with your foundation. Deal with your foundation. Deal with your foundation. That's the only way you can have a solid breakthrough. Thank God that we have the name of Jesus to apply in situations. That's why you pray and speak to your foundation. Whatsoever is not conforming to the will of God in my life based from my foundation. I come against it in the name of Jesus. The foundation could be based on your lineage. It could, base, could be based from something that your parents did. Foundation with an, a faulty foundation will cause you to live a life of error. And that is very detrimental. You know the book of Ecclesiastes. Let me read that real quick. Ecclesiastes chapter 10. <laughs> Chapter 10, I believe, chapter 10, verse 7. It says, I have seen servants upon horses and prince walking as servants upon the earth. What's that? That's a life of error. That shouldn't be. The prince should be on the horse's back while the slave, the servant, should be walking on the land. So in such a situation, God is saying, no, it shouldn't be that way. You are a man of value. You are a daughter of Zion. Why is things happening in your life contrary to the will of God for you? Visit your foundation. Deal with your foundation. A foundation issue is a found, if a faulty foundation is always detrimental. To the individual. You see, if you have a lifestyle that you fail to address and you climb the ladder of success because you have failed to deal with your foundation, that faulty foundation will cause you to come crashing down because you never dealt with it. If you are giving to immorality, you are giving to perverse lifestyle, giving to sexual immorality, giving to stealing, giving to lying, giving to murder, and you say, oh, you know, I'm born again right now, so I serve the Lord, wonderful, beautiful. But if you don't deal with that foundation, the foundation will deal with you. <laughs> so you have to deliver your foundation from wickedness. And how do you do that? You pray like never before. You pray unapologetically because the enemy wants to stop you. You stop the enemy before he stops you. You fight for your destiny. You fight for your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. The Bible said my people are perishing for lack of knowledge. Therefore, zero in into the privileges that has been given to us by the virtue in the name of Jesus. Use that name. The name of Jesus is worthy anytime, anywhere, any day. Use it and deliver yourself. I pray for you right now that any power say no to your deliverance. Such a power I come against right now in the name of Jesus. I break every chain of bondage in the name of Jesus. Wherever your name is being mentioned for destruction, I silence those voices in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus, every handwriting of failure upon your life, I cancel right now in the blood of Jesus. Brethren, it is well with you. 
And I want you to understand that the blood of Jesus, the name of Jesus, avail it for you. Use it for your victory. Use it and obtain your victory. It is available for you. It was shared for you and for me. Again, remember, if you kill the spider, the cobweb will disappear. If you deal with your foundation, your breakthrough will manifest. God bless you again. I declare and I declare that it is well with you. Again, share my video. God bless you. This is Sister Lizzie again saying shalom.